Hello, this video will point out a few of the most important updates in Automatic 11.11 version 1.6, which was committed today. Improved SDX refiner usage and high risk fix. The first, is up, the first update is the refiner pipeline support without the need for image to image switching or using external extensions. The second update is high resolution fix improvements by adding an option to use a different checkpoint to improve image details, which is very useful. And we will also see how to update Automatic 11.11 quickly and mention a few minor updates as well. Let's begin. Now to start the update, we go to Stable Diffusion Web UI folder. We go to this file, webuiuser.pat, click edit, and just write git pull in this location. Click save and run. Now, it's also important to mention that we no longer, no longer need auto launch, so this is no longer required because now it launches automatically. We also uh, no longer need mid VRAM option if we would plan to use uh, SDXL because there's a new option called mid VRAM SDXL, which automatically switches to, to this option when using SDXL models, which is faster because mid VRAM will make SD 1.5 models slightly slower. It's also good to use NAF VIE if we are getting any NANs, NAN error. So we can see installation is uh, being performed. Now we can see here that we have version 1.6, we have a refiner tab and high res fix. So to enable them, we need to click on them and for them to be enabled. We can choose the refiner checkpoint from this location. Now, if you have previously installed Refiner extension, now you can remove it by going to Extensions. Uncheck it and restart your user interface. You can also remove the Licorice extension because it's no longer required because Automatic 11.11 can now utilize use Licorice by default, just like standard LoRa. Now, to enable Refiner, we click Refiner. We choose the checkpoint, which is SDXL Refiner. Now for the switch at, this means that the first 80% of the steps will be performed by the SDXL base model. The remaining 20% will be performed by the refiner. We can reduce this if we want the refiner to uh, handle more steps, such as 0.75. So we no longer need to go to image to image and switch to the refiner, which is faster. Now we can see here that it is switching to the refiner model and it completes the steps using the refiner model. We can see here how that the picture has improved in terms of quality after applying the refiner to the original image which was produced by SDXL. Now we can also see that we have new samplers that were added here. We can see the list on automatic 1111 page such as exponential, TPM++ to M SDE exponential, now, to enable high res fix, we choose high res fix. We set the high res steps to 10, for example, denosic strength to 0 0.3, upscaler, we choose the upscaler. Now we can see that there's no option for the prompt, so we go to settings, user interface, then checkbox uh, these two options here so that we get a prompt for the positive and negative prompt for the high res fix. This will allow us to uh, add different prompts from the original prompt to be used in the generation. For example, if we want to add gold skin, gold hair, etc., to make minor changes. We click Apply Settings, then Reload User Interface. To enable high, high res fix, we click it. We can see here now we have a positive prompt and a negative prompt that we can use separately to change the high res fix. We can choose either the same checkpoint or a different checkpoint. We can use, also use a different sampler if we want. For example, if we have this prompt, we can choose high res fix. If we generate using the same checkpoint on Magic Mix version 4, we get something like this, which is good, but looks more like a doll. So we can choose a different checkpoint, such as realistic vision or photon, for instance, and test the generation, how the output would become. See, using Photon 1, the image has become slightly more realistic, which is better. Using Realistic Version 5, we can see that the image generated is older, which is more realistic. It's also useful to apply this on enemy uh, checkpoints. For example, for if enemy, we generate an uh, enemy-like picture. We can use high-res fix on another checkpoint, such as 
a realistic pigeon and produce realistic images. Now another useful feature is style edit. For example, if we have an existing style, we can press edit button and change the style details or create a new style. Now we can click on this button to apply the style because it was removed from under generate button. Now, these are some additional examples of using different checkpoints with high-risk fix, and have a good day.